Gotten warm. Uh -huh. Gotten warm again. It is that. We're watching. <laughs> What's Hello, that? YouTubers. Guess what I'm doing? Making a walking cane. That's a new, new style of shepherd's hook. This is a cane that a shepherd would use when he gets old age. He <laughs> can't fall over. Oh yeah, pretty solid base on it. Yeah, this is for one of those. What do you call them? Yeah, hot World, tubs. Hot isn't tubs, it? yeah, hot tubs or a whirlpool or whatever it is. It's supposed to hook onto the machine when you're when you're going up. This is the weird stuff. Maybe get eh? So when you're when you're going up the steps, coming out of it. Uh, there's one person that's having trouble getting up because she got some to reach mobility problems, so she can't reach it. So a customer came in and he took this out of. Hang on, now. he took this out of the box, and he says he wants this to come down over stairs a bit. So he said, "I want to cut here and add it two feet to it." So I said, you know, I'm trying to visualize now that he's gone. So I put it all together this morning. And I got the thinking, or I got the stinking, that if I cut that here and add it to a V, that's going to be up there. Oh, yeah. Not right? good. The idea of this is to have this closer. That's right. So As you're climbing. Then I measured the pipe. And it's a metric pipe. Can't get anything like it. So the smallest that I could go was an inch and a half with exhaust pipe. So what I uh, sized up here, see the way this is designed is you pull this out and then you can flick out the way if you want to put the cover on the pool. Oh, okay. Right? So, and plus it's got to fit down in this pipe. So I said, holy smokes, this is getting to be a little bit involved. Yeah. So what I did is I made up this pipe out of exhaust. Now in the meantime, this is not quite dry yet, so I really can't demo it. Before we, before we uh, sign off on this video, we'll show them. So this now will go down in that pipe. See, I had to machine a piece of pipe to go in this pipe. And index it so this could act the exact same way. Wow. Right? And also, uh, now that's providing this is going to clear the top part of the thing when it swings over. If it don't, it just, they just pull this out and leave it out. But at least now, the poor person who's having trouble getting up over these steps will be able to grab that rail and, and walk right up, right? So. Well, yeah, it don't so hurt anyone to be able to have a rail to walk up. No, well, I mean, it's, you know, it's, that one there is really not designed very well. No, is it? Because if you've got a lot of steps coming down, that's I right. guess that's just, it's a universal one over there. Yeah. That means it fits nothing. Yeah. Whereas with this one here, it's custom done to, to work yeah. on that rail. That's right. So. It'd be nice for the rail all the way up. Yes. Yeah. So that one, that's going to dry down shortly. Over here, we have a very special project. This one is from uh, Tennessee. From Tara T. N. Jamie. And she wants to put a, uh, a pump on her top link for her tractor. So she don't have an auxiliary port on the back of her tractor. So she's just going to use a 12 volt uh, hydraulic pump and uh, power up that, that particular uh, cylinder. But of course she orders in the pump and everything and this hose come with it. Now, here's the port that goes into the hose, say, for, into the pump itself, and uh, that won't fit. Yeah. And this is metric. So, I was going to make up an adapter and make this work and all of this old stuff. Then I said, you know what? For it to be correct and for it to be strong, if you keep adding stuff to it, adapters and stuff, it's only going to make it complicated. And of course, where it's come, going from Newfoundland back to Tennessee, I don't want her to have any issues with it. So what I intend to do is I'm going to cut this off here, because she got lots of extra room. 
we're going to put this on here and crimp it. And if you see, see the O-ring on it, mm -hmm. and it goes on here like that, like that. And then that screws on. And Miss Jamie is in business. Yeah, back in business. Back in business. She'll get a chance to use it, so. Awesome. And you know what? And it'll last. It'll as last. to different joints. Yeah. It's strong. So I think, uh, I think that's really the best way to do this. And that's the way we're going to do it. That's good. Other than that, well, we just do it some vehicle repair. We had a part missing off. They found a part under that truck. Yeah, that's right. Right? And they didn't know what it was. And uh, it's found it under, underneath the vehicle. Found it underneath the truck. The when they sent it to me, it looked like an insulator. And he said, I don't know what it is. I said, it looks like it's off a cab mount. And sure enough, that's what it was. So we have uh, the bottom parts of the cab mounts, new bolts and everything ordered for that. It's not rusted, it's just that the rubber got all perished out. Mm. And oh yes, our mystery part. Let me get the mystery part. This is the mystery part. Yeah. Now some people guessed it because I can guarantee it. The people that probably guessed it were up all night trying to figure out. <laughs> Google. They were Googleizing the hell out of that. That's right. Right. So here's what it's for. And I. I I tried to answer people when they'd say, is it this or is it that? I said, no. But then when somebody started to guess the right one, I said, well, nobody reads the comments. Yes, that's right. Right? Yeah. So they're, they're saying see where the answer people is. are going to guess what it is and then other people aren't even going to look. So we're going to do it this way. And what it is, folks, this is what holds a parking meter to a pipe. Yeah. And it goes down in that. And as you tighten down a bolt in here, this spreads out, and you can't pull it up off the pipe. And that's what it is. That's the answer. And I was kind of, kind of entertaining using the likes of this for picking up the center of the tire, but that got too complicated. I came up with a much, a much easier way of doing it, but I don't have it done yet because we've been extremely busy. So it is what it is. So we got another customer who wants to come in now. That's right. So you should give her a call, mm -hmm. and then we'll. Uh, We'll move on and we'll be back a little later. Perfect. Cool. Cool. Hey. Cool. cool. Worked cool. out very cool. Super cool. Now, Jamie, you'll have no trouble. This goes on your top link. This goes into your pump. And then this screws right on to your pump now. Now, buddy, you can say what you like. That's Smurfy. Very smurfy. Oh no, it's not. I'll show it's you something very smurfy. smurfy. It's super cool. I'll show you something very smurfy. You didn't find it. What you don't be smurfy? Uh, on top of DVR camera recorder. Oh. Now, speaking of smurfy, I opened up the thing, the box that Jamie sent, and there's smurfy. <laughs> <laughs> It's very a light. nice. It's a light. It's yeah. for uh, yeah. for when you're reading books. That's right, and you can bend them, put them wherever you want them to yeah, shine. That, that's very smurfy, isn't it? it is. Yeah, I put them up there so you wouldn't get knocked over and broken. Yeah, he nice. He's so cute. He's so cute. Anyway, Murph's made a big comeback. Yeah. So, yeah, so that's great. So she's going to be able to. No uh, weak link now. This is the way it should be done, right? So we got that done, so that can go back to her today. We'll send that right back today. Mm -hmm. Showed up tomorrow, yesterday. It's going back today. So that's a pretty good turnaround. That is a good Don't turnaround. Don't knock that over. Oh, yeah. There, you might want to get on this side, because they're not going to see that oh, the sun coming in. Over there I could, but not this, yeah. not looking out at that again. So now, this is the rail. So we've, we've gone from... We've gone from that... Wow. Right? Yeah. To that, I can't get the same bends as that because that's probably that's a mandrel bend, I'd say. Mm -hmm. You know, probably for a hundred thousand dollars, I could have that same machine. But <laughs> right now, it's not in the it's not in the cards. No, not so, for the amount of times you're going to need to use it. So you're down here on a step, and you've got a disability. It's hard to reach that. Yeah, it's but pretty it's much high. easier to reach that. Yeah, it is. And you know, the color is off a bit, but you know what? 
What can Not you do? Not gonna much matter. It works. And then of course, depending on how how high the, the steps the step, are the steps are in the pool, you can I still index it where you could. Oh, right? slick. Yeah. So it's it's not that it was. Right. Yeah. So it is what it is. It's amazing the amount of time that stuff takes. Yeah, big time. Yeah. You know, then you got to try to. The customer tells you to. To cut it here and add two feet. Yeah. Well, that's up there. That's right. Because I questioned him, I said, what about there? No, no, there. Hmm. Now, he might see that and see that totally wrong. Yeah, without having a picture of the actual uh, step level or the height. Well, I'm just picturing you. You're down in the pool, and there's steps. And as you're stepping up, you're coming up with the rail. Yeah. Yeah, that's better. So, you got to call that customer now and get her to bring out her car. Mm -hmm. That Jeep, that can... Uh, I'll put that back for now, and then I'll bring that in after we finish that car and okay. assess it. Yeah. Cool? Cool. Where are you going? Oh, long went. As if we didn't have enough. So, we closed down the shop, and you dragged me in there to get pond plants. Sure. What's wrong with that? We're going to have spoiled fish. <laughs> That's okay. They're going to be spoiled. That's good. So... Where are we to? We're in Holland Nurseries. Nurseries in the city, St. John's. St. John's. St. John's. As the St. John's crowd calls it, St. John's. And it's pretty yeah, neat here. here. Okay. Let's have a look see. Considering one greenhouse. Yeah, they had those floating things there before. Yeah. Wow, they're beautiful, eh? Oh, yeah. Look at that over there, eh? It's so nice. The point yeah. the red? Yeah, that's right. They're um, Roy Deidrens. Oh, okay. We have the purple one. Yeah, which never turns purple. Uh, oh, no, you're thinking of another one. You're thinking of, hy uh, what is it? Hydrangea. Oh, okay. Hey, we didn't find any plants yet. You go looking. Gosh. Check the greenhouse in the middle. This is a hike. This is not looking for flowers. <laughs> well, stop complaining. Hey, look at my hat. Yeah, very nice. My buddy Carrie Hubbard gave me that. Yeah, it's really nice. I only wear it special occasions. Yep. Hey? Exactly. No. Good job. Isn't it nice? It's beautiful. It matches, almost matches my shirt. Almost. It sure does, doesn't hey? it? Super yep. cool. Come on. Super cool. Finally. Oh, marsh marigold. I got some in our pond now. Oh, that's gross. Really big, though. Yeah? Yeah. Gonna get some or what? Hey, we might have another little corner on the opposite side. But I'm after these floating ones. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's mostly lettuce. I went high, high so it's this one. Oh, yeah. There's another one. Oh, I almost fell in. <laughs> <laughs> this wouldn't be going on YouTube. This is going on funny videos. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> That'd be something. Yeah, that would be something. You have to find a ride home because you wouldn't be sitting in the van getting all that full of that old foul water. <laughs> Dennis told me that once when we picked lilies for the pond, as a matter of fact. Yeah. The, uh, another pond that we had. I almost fell in. He told me I wasn't getting back in his truck if I fell in. And that's your son. And that's my son. <laughs> well, I guess the apple don't fall far from the tree. Hello, no, that's where he got it from you. <laughs> <laughs> but we never had water lettuce before, have we? Uh, we did last year. Oh, yeah? Once. Yeah. So the fish eat it or what? Uh, no, we had it stayed. Oh, yeah? Yeah. But it won't come back in the spring? No, neither one of these. None of those floating ones. They're all tropical plants. Uh -huh. Same thing with that hyacinth. It won't come back. Oh. Uh -huh. Well. That's why uh, it won't stand up. Oh. Uh -huh. Okay, it's That's determined right. to go that way. So anyway, I'll have a look at some of these because some of these look interesting. Oh, uh, yeah? Morning. The next morning. Yes. It's the morning after. <laughs> it is. 
We have a package. We do. What's in the package? Well, we're all about to find out. Everybody is screaming now, telling us what's in the package. There's goody goody young drops in the package. <laughs> Spoiler alert, I saw the end of the box. Never. Yeah. Have okay. a look-see. There have, you go. <laughs> have a look-see. A peephole. Have a look-see. Okay, we're looking. Oh, Ooh, fresh ones. It's boot heaven. Fresh ones. Fresh ones. Yeah, tender young things. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> it's good because we sold our last eight yesterday. Yeah, that's right. They're shipping out today. Anybody want any uh, BX boots? I don't want to sound like a salesman, but this might be the last batch. That's right. Because the prices keep increasing. Well, from when we started, it's uh, almost quadrupled. Yeah. And we've kept the price the same, but we had a good deal first, but it's just gone up and up and up and up and up. So I don't know. But anyway, so we got a few there now. I don't expect they'll last very long, but anyway, if you, if you want, at least we got this batch. That's right. Because the shipping too is brutal, 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 brutal. Especially for Canadians. Believe well, it or not. Well, it's it, was, it, it was expensive for us to get them shipped here. That's right. But I'm telling you, folks, like what we're going to tell you now is, may God strike me down dead now. It's cheaper for us to send something to Australia. That yeah. it is for us to ship something from Newfoundland to mainland Canada. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. We're losing, if we ship anything to Canada. Are you we're losing four to five dollars? Four to five dollars on the shipping. Yeah. We can ship it to the USA uh, cheaper than we can. So we had to, the, yeah. the only price change with all of this now is shipping to Canada is going to be $15 US. Right and you and, and the US is gonna be tin. Yeah. And folks, don't chew the head off of me or Kathy. It's you gotta call your postal outlet and find out what's on the go. Uh, shipping in Canada don't don't have a small package rate. Everything is going as a parcel. So it's eighteen bucks to ship that little tiny envelope that Canadians have been receiving. Man, that's crazy. And I could send it to the US for I wonder what a courier would cost. $10. Probably around the same, I would say. I don't know. We'll, yeah. Yeah. We should check it out, I suppose. See. But anyway, it is what it is. I, I'm not going to apologize because that's for the politicians in the Canadian uh, Postal Service to to do that. Sort out, yeah. Because it's ridiculous. It's you know, like when you're losing four. Well, how much you say four or five dollars? Four to five dollars. A shipment. Um, the ones we sent out in the Ontario area, we paid seventeen ten to ship, yeah. and the ones we sent to, we've sent some to Alberta way and Manitoba way. Yeah, we paid eighteen dollars. Wow, seventeen ninety two or something around that area. That being said, that being said, worth what it. Kubota sells is is the ultimate. Now I look, I don't care who at Kubota hears this. It's garbage. Yeah. It's garbage. The the box, the bag that they come in are better than the rubber in the boot that they sell. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, these here are uh, polyurethane. They're UV rated. They uh, they take the heat well. They take the cold well. They're very flexible, and they're heavier than the uh, than the boot that comes with our BXs. So, you know. It is what it is. Look, when I put oh, it on hours, last. when I put it on hours, it's good. But I'm not going through the trouble of putting an inferior boot or an inferior part on the tractor. So, not trying to sell you, but just telling you the truth because that's what this channel is all about, keeping it real. So that's it. So we know what we know. We got because it was a bit of a panic on the go. That's right, it was. Because last night when you had the, the last two orders come in, I said, "Oh Lord, we got a problem." Yeah. So anyway, we don't we have no a problem. We no longer have right a problem. <laughs> anyway, we we got your you got your pond stuff put in. Yes. Yeah. I yeah, did. that worked yeah. out pretty good. It worked out good. So 
it's back to work. So we have a, a, a Jeep there now. I got to, to go back at it now. Go back at the Jeep. The parts should be here today or in today. Be shipped today for, for what? CD. Yeah, uh, not yeah. too worried about that. Yeah. Yeah. Too much to do. I mean, just look. This is the parts off this Jeep. Have a look. Seized. This one is okay. This one is seized solid. Look, that one is okay. Can't move it. So the brakes can't work. No. And when they come on, they don't come off. Mm. So that's the problem. Good. Rotor's gone. Brakes gone. She's gone. She's gone. She's off a of bad bus. And on that note, I'm gone. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Well, I gotta go. There. We have parts. We do. That's for the picking me up truck. Lots of parts. That's for the diesel. That's right. That's for the diesel. Cab mounts? Huh? Cab mounts, did you say? Yeah, lower lower mounts. Oh, okay. I'll show you what happens to them. Never get some in the bag. So my buddy who owns that is out to sea. He works on the offshore. So he sends me a picture of this piece of rubber. He said, I don't know what it is. He said, it looks like it's a lower cabinet. See, that's what it looks like. Well, what happens to them is the rubber separates from, from here. The washer stays in place, but the rubber falls down over. So we are going to replace them. And there's uh, two up in the front. And there's, let's see, we got, uh, yeah, so we got four, two up front and four in the cab. And then we're going to put new bolts in because the bolts are quite rusty. And we have shackles. Yeah. Remember the other day I couldn't find couldn't small find shackles, them. so I said we're going to have one of each now. And now that you bought some new ones, you'll find the old ones. And we have new cuffs. Yeah, they're very nice. New cuffs. But you went in your back drawer there looking for something. I found cuffs. I got found stuff. Cuffs. Yeah, I, I found. I, I put stuff away for safekeeping. I can never find it. No, tell me about it. But look at the quality, eh? The embroidery and you know look, mm -hmm. look, look. look. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we're gonna call this one a video, eh? Yeah. So I gotta put the Jeep. Out. We got. Um, oh, bless me. you. <laughs> I tried to hold. It. Excuse bless me. Bless you. I thought you was going ball at me or something. Oh, oh. Okay, go ahead. I Are I you sure? One, but I'm good. <laughs> How's it? Okay, so we gotta put the Jeep out. We gotta bring in the diesel. Plus, we got parts coming for the. You look like you're ready to sneeze again. <laughs> And then we got the uh, the sea do to do. We got parts coming for that. We got some welding. We got some other little. Now it'll I gotta all, get some lunch. It'll all get done. Yeah. Look at the time. So folks, we'll see you the next time around. Just a little something to show you what we're at. And uh, don't take handicap zones unless you're legally permitted to do it. They had to put that disclaimer. I always have to put that there because. Smarty pants. Yeah, because I'm telling you right now. If somebody has a handicap sign in their window, they need that space. And if they don't get that space, all you're doing is making their life more difficult than it already is. Let's not contribute to that. Don't text and don't drive. You know? Good advice. And if you have to text, stab the vehicle. Throw your phone out in the trunk. Mm -hmm. That's it. And we'll see you in the next video. Take care. God bless.